Okay, today I'm going to show you how to fit a very simple fly screen. Basically, it's just a one panel door with two hinges on it, which will cover the opening of the window. So firstly, mark where your hinges are going to go. So hinge on. Turn it like that, 45 degrees, up to your window. Centralize it, mark where you need to drill the holes. Okay, with a pencil. Then you need to drill, drill your holes, which in this case we've already done. Um, screwdriver and your screws get them to hand now somebody's already fitted this and there's a, a couple of sets of holes so I'm a little bit sport for choice when fitting make sure the brackets are facing the same direction so that if you want to take the fly screen off you can do push it to one side and take it off the brackets um, whereas if you've got the brackets facing the opposite direction you cannot get it off um, so ours we're going to be able to take it off so fix into the holes self tappers into the holes that you've drilled Just um, a suggestion, your screws don't need to be as big as the ones that I've used. You just need to be able to get a bite into there, there's no weight on these whatsoever. And plus all the weight is pulling downwards so it's not going to pull the screws out. Okay. Right, that's one in. Let's make sure that driven home. Second bracket. Into your pre drilled hole. Guys, feel free to use your uh, rechargeable drill driver to do this. It will save you a little bit of time. I'm doing it by hand purely because I've left the van at home. Okay, is the bracket fitted? Now the moment of truth. Fly screen onto the brackets. Okay, so line it up and just slide it on into place. Oh, there we go. Now it's fixed in place. You'll notice that it won't go right up to the window. Obvious reason for that, the handle is in the way. Fly screen isn't really used until the window is open, obviously. Open your window, fire screen down, covers up that, covers up the hole, fresh air in, no flies. Couple of turn buttons, again, drill, self tapper, and then your fly screen can then be locked into place. Just like that with the turn button. Very simple fly screen, but very, very effective. These can be found on our website, blindsviewdirect.co.uk. 
along with more commercial types of fly screen, which I'll show you how to fit and measure up for at a later time. Okay. Okay, at the end of the summertime, winter approaching, no more flies. If you want to take the fly screen off, because of the way that we've set the brackets, um, undo your turn buttons. Shut the window for the winter time. And then just slide it off the brackets. Remember we set the brackets so we'd be able to get the fly screen off. Fly screen off. Put it away somewhere safe, in a loft or in a cupboard. Leave the brackets in place so that you can put it back up again quite easy next year. Absolutely ideal um, as these can be used in conjunction with your roller blinds because these are quite close to the window you could actually fit a vertical blind or a roller blind in front of them and I'll show you just to prove a point one of the blinds that we put up earlier nice vision blind we've got enough room for both and you can operate both. So there's your vision blind up again. Fly screen fitted. Vision blind works. Fly screen works behind it. And then your vision blind can be closed in front of the uh, fly screen so you can have both um, the more complicated fly screens which come in a cassette such as this with side channels will pull down but there isn't a great deal of room then to put a blind in front so these are ideal for this scenario um, the other scenarios I'll, I'll show you in a later video um, fly screens vision blinds all can be find on, found on our website plans for you direct dot co dot uk